Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to go down a bit of a rabbit hole. What we're going to be talking about is something that in the Minecraft community is called regedit. Now, I've heard about this for a while, and what I know it as, and what I'll show you how to do quickly, because it's genuinely not that not that big of a deal, I don't think it does much of anything, uh, is regedit is, of course, the Windows Registry Editor, and there's a specific modification people make which disables something called Nagel's Algorithm. Uh, Nagel's Algorithm is... Something, because, for, okay, first of all, basic computer science lesson. When we talk about speed, there are two things that exist. There's latency and throughput. And when you buy internet, as I'll demonstrate here, what you're buying is usually throughput. The speed, the gigabits or megabits per second. Latency is more based on the geographical location. And to some degree, I mean, if you're not using direct ethernet, that can also play a role. And the kind of internet medium you're using, fiber will have the best, and satellite will have absolutely terrible latency. So what the Nagel's algorithm does prevent congestion. It's it's mostly, I think it's, it's, it's not really that useful today, although it's also not necessarily that harmful. Uh, so the way that you go about disabling it, and there's plenty of guides, I mean, it's pretty accepted this is an okay thing to do for gaming so the first thing you need to do is figure out which of your network adapters uh, is the right one now of course because we're on a vm i've only got one and then what we do is we go to hk local machine systems this address current control set services tcp ip yeah you could also do this for tcp ip6 but you probably don't care about that uh, and then uh, we go to parameters interfaces and then we get these options and we can pretty quickly figure out that this is the one we want because it's got our local not our internet ip address which will pretty much always be a 192 address and what we want to add are two d word keys 32 bit keys tcp ack frequency uh, we want to get and the second one is tcp no delay and each of these is supposed to be set to one it doesn't matter hexadecimal and decimal one are both the same thing and now we have disabled Nagel's algorithm. Does it matter? Uh, that seems to be highly subjective. I, I've tried it. I haven't found it to make a big difference, but it might make your network moderately faster. But people hyping this up as a cheat is funny. Now, what has also happened, though, because this word has gained notoriety, is people have stalled, and that's the main subject of this video. You know how I, and I, I noticed this when I saw about all of those uh, questionable Windows tweaks but people are now selling these things. Like, what? And it's basically turned into a euphemism for hacks. A tried, true, popular, solid reg edit that has stood the test of time. A customized to you, smooth gameplay experience. Then we could spend $23, and we could get a faster keyboard response? I, I, I don't know, there's probably more tweaks. They're probably just using the word. OS optimization, RAM optimization, CPU optimization, regular tested, configure competition control pro. They may, may this sound like it's a hack. You know, I I don't know how to say this politely, but if you're buying reg edits to improve your Minecraft gameplay, this is a, this is what the cool kids call a skill issue. If we search this on YouTube, we can find all these things. Uh, once we get past the proper videos, which are about the registry editor, what we're actually looking for. Here's uh, someone uh, mocking it. I don't know if this song is in Content ID, so I'm going to mute it. Uh, this guy's like doing a parody of the Content Cop. I think, looking at all of this junk. Here's someone debunking the whole idea. It's here. Welcome back to another video. And today I have a really good reg edit. It gives me OP reach. So I, I, this is a follow-up to a, an IRL video I made back in April, I believe, uh, where I basically talked about how the only two registry edits that actually affect anything are TCP no delay and TCP ACK frequency um, in Minecraft. There's other ones where that optimize connection, but the way Minecraft operates is that the packets being sent between the server and the client, they're so small, like for every individual hit, that modifying like... I don't know, uh, any other setting wouldn't really affect anything. For example, there was one um, I saw in like a Verzide reg edit video or something like that. And uh, if you look inside of it and, and read off the settings and look at what the settings do, it all it does is basically, it would basically make your chunks load faster uh, in, in game because that's a very, a much higher packet size. I'm not entirely sure I endorse this understanding, but I, I think he's got the basic idea. 
that this do this doesn't do some this doesn't do what people think it does. And then there's uh, there's people who say they're leaking it. And here's the leak. Let's see. Uh, is this going to be a virus or is this going to actually allow me to demonstrate some of what's going on here? Uh, it's it's weird how they've sort of come up with the term regedits to describe this. So in this folder, when we extract it, oh yeah, the other window, the, the new Windows archive UI is kind of confusing. Read me, read me. Deflanix credits, okay. Wow, that is a lot of regedits. So let's actually look at these. These are called .reg files. Uh, and we can, instead of opening these with the registry editor, we're going to open them with, with a text editor. Now, my understanding is that using a reg file here wouldn't even work because it's got to be on the right interface. But we add a bunch of these that I would doubt. Okay, they, they, no. This relates to SMB. Max free, speed no delay, local priority, host priority, DNS. And none of this does what you think it does. Network throttling. IRP stack size, it's wild. Best auto reg edit, reach seven blocks. Let's see what this one does. MTU, these are just random network settings that I would be very surprised to learn if anybody doing any of this actually knows what any of these do. Verside reg edit, boost, connection brush, relation auto reg edit, I, Ostism reg edit. Oh, they're all different. And this one has set a value to TCP no delay. I'm pretty sure that's a Boolean. And then they've got a different value for MTU, MSS, TCP initial rift. This is just, okay. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, and this is probably even scammier. This is for a different, so this isn't just for Minecraft, evidently. Uh, Oh no, I'm a master hacker <laughs> man, and I figured out, oh no, I can just read the source code, because if it's JavaScript, it's client side. Okay, so let's see uh, what was hidden behind uh, this subscribe wall. Maybe this contains a registry file? It's not a .reg. Or maybe it's like, oh, maybe, okay, I'm just going to download 7-zip, because Windows is real support is sub have they changed? Okay, yeah, I just thought that was different than the site. Which I thought for a second, wait, did I just click an ad? That would be a fun, fun middle bit of the video. This guy has 300,000 subscribers. This guy has more subscribers than I do. I clearly, I chose the wrong side. Uh, it doesn't even show the password. And he loved the comment of someone saying, oh, it's fake. Oh, this guy gets mad views. YouTube shorts, but... Wow, that's actually kind of impressive. But I can't download it, so... This guy, th this is like... Has Regedit become a, a full euphemism for cheats among young children? This is so weird. And this is... Okay, it's Discord gated. He says link in comments, but he doesn't actually link it. Or is this... Okay. Maybe I'm the idiot. No, this is free Thai lottery? Okay. Is this like some ad scam or because it's finance related, they're going to get more ad revenue? Yeah, I, th I think this is actually a pretty clever ad scheme because for those of you who don't know, depending on the subject of your content, right, you can make more money. So I think what they're doing is they've got this fake AI generated business stuff. Scroll down. So that we have to, so the advertisers are going to think that we're reading this. Where's the continue here? Maybe Brave is blocking it. Let's try. No. No, no, no one. There, There is no, this is not allowed. If you guys were wondering, these are, I'm pretty sure these are AdSense ads. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Is it up there? They, they, <laughs> they've broken every AdSense rule. You're currently on step three of three. Please wait 11 seconds. Uh, now, interestingly, if you look at the ads, uh, it would seem that the, because in reality, while I, what I said was true, it's not purely based, it, like, it's not purely contextual advertising anymore. These days, we also have, uh, of course, personalized advertising. Okay. 
Other way we can do that is we can just delete the disabled in the CSS. You are joking. I'm actually losing my mind. <laughs> this is genuinely clever. It's like we're going through a never ending list of fake insurance sites trying to get me to join. And, and there's no, of course, because this is generic. There's no indication of what the fabled link is. Well, so let's just see what ads are on the, if there's even ads on this. Oh, and we're supposed to click on this ad. This is actually a major ad fraud scheme. I'm definitely going to let Google know about this. This was not what I was expecting. I was expecting malware. Uh, we ended up with a bunch of botnet spam and ad galore is another option. They really like these social buzz things. Oh, and this is... It's trying to get me to go to a WhatsApp. I just want to cheat on Minecraft. I don't want to go on a WhatsApp. And this this site from Ghost is returning to the mysterious free tie lottery. And there's no... There's no... Um, oh, it's this one they want me to do first. There's no post or get request on any of this. So, in fact, there is no possible way that it would know what our download is. So there's no way there's a real download here actually ended up being oh stairs i thought it was going to be the door more interesting than i thought it was going to be i i thought it was just going to be discovering a malware but we've we've actually discovered a scam i haven't seen before you can actually uh oh wow it vanished right when i said that you can actually report uh if you're on a site that's setting up ads like this and it's google or any reputable ad network, they, they don't want this because this is not valuable to advertisers. Advertisers do not want to be paying for this. They want to be paying for a product to be shown in a situation where you're actually going to consider buying it. They don't want this. They, they, it makes them look bad. What is funny is it seems like the whole idea has epically failed because they wanted this to show insurance and investing ads. And Google is small enough to know that we are not, we do not have the intention of buying insurance. And here's your little AI generated puzzle. This is many banks offer broker. Okay. So this is like, well, it's sensical. I mean, that's the great thing about AI is it can write sensical. Like these articles are not terrible. They're not useful, but they're not terrible. What's really weird is these big channels doing it. But that actually reminds me of something I haven't mentioned yet. So I, while I was investigating the scams and spam on YouTube, I noticed a few channels that were both posting the spam videos and their normal content. And I actually emailed them about it because I wasn't sure if the hackers had gotten more stealthy. What I found out is that, and this was a music channel, so they couldn't make money the normal way. Uh, they were being offered money to post those videos. And because they weren't otherwise able to monetize their channel, they did it for that reason. But these are gaming channels, so they should be able to make money normal ways. And I mean, if they got hundreds of thousands of views... Like, it's not worth risking your channel and everything for whatever this scam is making. This looks like a hacked account because he's got 400,000 subscribers. He's never posted anything else. Maybe into shorts or lie. Oh, okay, no, never mind. Maybe he's got 60 million views on an unrelated uh, short video. It's got the same name, so maybe that's how he did it. He posts a short video and then he tries to use the legitimacy he's gotten out of that to uh, post this spam. It's really not as, it's definitely not as uh, dramatic, but here we've got uh, more ads. Although he says it's a free client, then he says you can buy it for $25. I'm going to do another video, by the way. So subscribe if you're interested, where I'm going to try and infiltrate these cheating servers. Because a lot of people who are messaging me are, are seeming to be getting malware just from joining these Minecraft cheating servers. So I'm actually going to go undercover. Uh, we're going to see what we can find. And we're going to talk to... We're going to meet some of these people. And in the event, they, you know, they, a lot of these skids are going to be using tools like PyCylon, which, of course, I can reverse. So I'm, I, might just, I might just ruin their parade live. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So please subscribe if you're looking forward to that. And with that, I think that's going to be all for this uh, little investigation. The only reg edit that's going to make any difference to your Minecraft is the one I showed at the beginning of the video. Don't, don't be buying this junk. It's not going to help you. It's a skill issue. None of, none of this is going to be all that important. That's all for now. Bye.